Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video is not the art it was meant to be because I didn't finish it in time. Whoops! <laughs> anyway, so today's art is a concept sketch for my next fursuit, and I've already bought the fabric, so I'm designing around the colours that I've got. And I'd like to work that way. I find that my character designs always look better when I do it this way round rather than trying to come up with the design then choosing the fabrics, if that makes sense. My last fursuit, which will be available for sale really soon, so keep an eye out. While it looks okay, it's just I'm not a fan of the design myself. It's just a dog, whereas I prefer things that are more like this, you know? Like there's details going on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense. Basically, I like to work with very short pile fabrics. I use minky style blankets, which means that everything is very short pile fur, and you really have to think about your design so that it doesn't look boring as such. Like, you can't add visual interest with long fur because there isn't any. You've only got short pile fur, which means you have to add things that will distract from the lack of long fur. Does that make sense? I mean, it's all down to personal preference, so do what you want, I guess, but personally, I like to find ways to add more visual interest with my characters via things that are not long pile fur when I'm working with short blankets. <laughs> Obviously, if I had the long fur, then I would have some floof on there. <laughs> I actually had a couple of people on Instagram recommending places to buy reasonably priced faux fur, and while I do appreciate it, I am aware of where I can get it. In the UK we have mohair bear making supplies, I think that's what they're called. Anyway, they're a really good site, so I recommend them. I've bought samples from them before, and the fur was really good, but I did decide I didn't want to invest in £150 worth of faux fur, so I went back to the blankets. <laughs> That was for my last suit that is done now, and as I said, will be available soon, so keep an eye out. But yeah, uh, faux fur is expensive, and minky blankets are just more affordable, and that means they're less stressful to work with, because if you mess up, it's okay, you can just buy another one, usually, unless you can't find them anywhere. That happened with Cotton Flop, which is my other suit, and while I know the brand of blanket that I used, I just can't find it anywhere. <laughs> but that's okay, I don't plan to do anything with that suit other than wear it as a partial. Anyway, I'm rambling. So yeah, this is a fish monster character, and it might be my first grumpy looking suit, or I'll turn it into a smiley suit, I don't know. I want to try out some new pattern techniques with the foam base, since so far my heads have looked like globes with a muzzle. <laughs> I mean, they look fine, I think, it's just I would prefer there to be a little bit more definition there. I also like to put my fursuit eyes a lot closer together than I see a lot of other people doing. That's another personal preference thing. So I'm finding my style pretty quickly, I think. This will be my fourth suit when I make it, so that's going well, I think. Obviously my style will evolve over time and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> oh, the tail with this one. I like my design for the tail. I do wish I'd incorporated more of that white throughout the design. I still could, but I'm struggling in finding a way to incorporate the white that would make sense. So I guess it just won't be. <laughs> I tried adding some little claws to the hands. They're not so much paws, they're more like webbies. Yeah. Anyway, I tried adding claws to the fingers and that kind of helps, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. Also, I'm not sure if I want to do the teeth with Minky or with the blanket material. I'll probably have to order some more Minky sheets and do it that way because the blankets might look a little bit weird. I'm just brainstorming out loud to you guys now, so that's fun. <laughs> anyway, um, what can I say that's not fursuit related? Hmm. Well, I built a shelf. I built a shelf on my desk, 
So now I don't have to waste a bunch of space above the monitor, I can store things up there. It's like a diagonal shelf as well, which is kind of cool. And I built it so that it doesn't like taper off into a complete point, so there's like a little bit of a right angle at the end there. <laughs> that's just so I can fit things on it comfortably. So that's that. Oh, my leaf insects! If you saw my other video, I got leaf insects and I'm so excited, I love them. And one of my leaf insects, called Frog, has shed! She's now in star 4 or L4 or whatever you want to call it. So she is huge compared to the other two. So Bulbasaur and Danny Phasmid, tiny little L3s, and Bulbasaur is like this huge L4 monster. <laughs> I only know that she shed, well aside from her looking bigger now, is also that I found this white leg in the enclosure and none of the leaf insects were missing any legs so I just kind of assumed that she shed and she had because she's huge. <laughs> this is my first time owning insects so I'm not sure when she's going to start laying eggs but I hope it's soon because uh, I would like to breed my leaf insects and have more generations of them so yeah. Anyway, that's enough about the leaf insects, we are at the end of the video. So there's the face design, head design, and there's the other accessories which I'm not too happy with right now. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Links to all of my social medias are in the description. Please do not hit the like button as that's not very nice and I don't want you to hurt it, so maybe shake his hand instead. Okay, bye!